A very important thing to do when uh, participating in gourmet dining is pairing the proper food and beverage. Um, tonight we went with a, a Dr. Pepper, which is a, it's not a traditional soda in the fact that it's a, it's a blend of many flavors. It doesn't have a single characteristic flavor. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's got a dark hue to it. And you can see by its color that it's very rich um, and dark with almost like an oak-filled caramel, the bouquet is mysteriously peppery and sharp, but it doesn't go with everything. You know, sometimes if you're, if you're doing something simple, like a chicken, you may want to go with a Sprite, a very plain but crisp uh, soft drink. Or we have uh, the classic Coca-Cola. The orange soda is great with uh, desserts. Well, Dr. Pepper is traditionally served warm, but in this instance, we decided to add some ice to it. And the presentation of food today was uh, a paper bag, which, um, you know, we really don't look at presentation and food. A lot of the time it's just about the taste, but it's nice to know that they're saying we're going to keep it simple. Oh man, uh, the french fries fall out of the bag. But, uh, that's okay, it adds class, it adds character to them. As you can see, this is the, uh, the main course tonight. It's always nice to, to kind of serve it and prepare it in a, in a presentable manner. So it's very simple, we're just going to unwrap it. Certainly time and care was put into every detail of this culinary experience. Um, and that's that's what makes such an endeavor great. You just simply take it out of the, uh, the paper. The paper is great because it absorbs a lot of the grease. Now, if you want to avoid a mess, which we will with just the show, uh, you can place the, the burger back into its holder um, to keep your hands clean. And uh, as you can see, like quality food made fresh is our recipe. And they're, they're really stressing home there that this particular establishment prioritizes uh, excellence and quality. Um, a look at the uh, the actual main course tonight is tantalized, and you can see the artisan assembly of this dish. Um, obviously, there are fresh tomatoes, condiments. Um, the cheese is uh, is very unique in the sense that it's not really made from any dairy product. Um, modern science has blessed us with uh, an arsenal of artificial factors that can really simulate the taste of a sharp American cheddar or a, or a mild Asiago. When we look more closely at the burger, you can see the, the lack of uniform color across it shows that it's not just one type of beef. We have a Holstein, Angus, a Simmental, Fleck the Cattle. Um, a lot of these cows were used as dairy cows, um, but when they can no longer produce milk, it's, it's very uh, efficient to take them and to grind them all up and turn them into a beef paste, which is then sauteed over a, uh, a traditional American style grill and uh, all comes together in this delectable um, gourmet experience. These are by far the greatest of the french fried potatoes um, because they're, they're seasoned with real sea salt uh, unlike you know the other types of, of salt which are mined um, in the Andean mountains. This salt is actually harvested from the, uh, from the beautiful Pacific Ocean in a desalinization plant so we're just going to make it a little more presentable and uh, garnish our sandwich with some of these french fries. Um, just, to, just to make it a, a wonderful experience. Um, and here we have it, the, uh, the great uh, double cheeseburger from Wendy's.